If you have a networking function coming up and you're looking to impress and make a lasting impression, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be sharing the top tips to help you navigate a networking function successfully. We will be covering some of the biggest networking challenges like how to break into and out of a group politely and how to introduce yourself powerfully and memorably. At the end of this video, I'm keeping my favorite tip for last, and that is how to hold a wine glass, plate, and napkin all in one hand so you have the other hand free to shake hands. Let's jump in with the first tip. Which side do you put your name tag on? Now, the rule of thumb that I like to use, and that's worked for me, is to put the name tag on the side with which I shake hands. And so my name tag would go about here, I'm right-handed. So when I reach out to shake someone's hand, their eyes go down my hand and to my name tag. And so I make it really easy to, for them to uh, know my name, to see my name. When I reach out my hand, it's almost like I'm also presenting my name tag. The second tip, how do you break into a group that you're interested in joining? Now this can be really awkward sometimes if people are standing in a circle and you're trying to get into the conversation. The tip on this one is establish eye contact with someone in the group. Once you receive the eye contact, see that as your invitation to join. The third tip. Once you are in a group, how do you make a powerful, memorable introduction? I like to keep my introductions a mix of professional and personal. My introduction would go something like, hey everyone, nice to meet you. I am Ramona Moodley. I have a passion for learning and people development. Currently, I am head of talent at a consulting company based in LA. And I work on recruiting, executive coaching, and learning and development for all of their consultants. Personally, I am South African. My husband and I live in San Francisco, and we are big foodies. An introduction like this describes what you do, but it also describes who you are as a person and piques the curiosity of the group and gives them something to go off to bring you into the conversation. I would love to hear from you. Drop your introduction in the comments. Now on to the fourth tip, business card etiquette. Business cards are usually given at the start, so just after the introduction or when you're ready to leave the group. When you give someone your business card, be sure you give it to them face up. And when you receive a business card, be sure to look at it, comment on it in some way, comment on the color, the font, the logo, something about the business card before putting it away. Now for the fifth tip, how do you politely break out of a group? So when a group is three or more people, breaking out of a group is relatively easy if you wait for a natural break in the conversation and then you can politely excuse yourself. But things become slightly more complicated if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. Now, I don't know if this has happened to you at a networking event, but it has definitely happened to me where I'm talking to someone, I feel like it's going really well, and then they decide it's time to break away and be excused. And honestly, as the, the person being left behind in that situation, it doesn't feel great. For me, it feels like, you know, being picked last at the, like in a gym class or um, standing on the outskirts of a dance floor at a school dance waiting to be chosen. There's just something about it that is not great. There's a really great saying by Maya Angelou that goes, people will forget what you did. People will forget what you said, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And so this saying comes to mind in an instance like this, that when you're speaking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, you want to create a memorable impression by leaving them feeling really good about themselves and really good about you. So a polite way to break out of a one-on-one -on -one conversation is to introduce the person you're with to someone else before breaking away. So if you see someone walk, walking past the two of you, someone you met earlier in the night, or a friend or a colleague that you've known prior to the event, just call them over, bring them in, make the introduction between the two people before leaving. So, so far we have covered which side to put your name tag on, how to break into a group politely, how to introduce yourself powerfully, business card etiquette, 
how to break out of a group politely. And I've got one more tip for you and it is my favorite. But before I jump into that, if you've liked what you've seen so far, please like and subscribe. I make content on how to make powerful impressions through your executive presence and communication. So if you're walking around a networking event with your wine glass in one hand, you've got your plate in the other hand, and someone comes up to shake your hand, what do you, what do, you do? So this is how you're going to hold your wine glass, your napkin, and your plate in the same hand. The first thing you're gonna do is on your non-dominant hand, so not the hand that you shake hands with, you want to open up your pinky finger, and between your pinky and your ring finger goes your wine glass. Next up is your plate. So these three middle fingers are where you're going to rest your plate and you put your thumb on top to secure it. And then lastly, your napkin. This goes underneath your plate and underneath those fingers. Now, if you wanna grab a drink of wine, you can just release it and put it back. You wanna eat some food, you've got that hand and then you've got your napkin that you can pull out and easily place back. If you're looking for something to watch next, try my video on dining etiquette.